my sidekick, Susanna. <laughs> hi. hi, hi everyone. How are you guys today? How's everybody doing? Welcome to Tech Tuesdays. Ooh, look at this. I think we are on Tech Tuesdays episode eight. Oh, wow. the weeks are just flying by. <laughs> All right. Now I am getting a little feedback from you, Susanna. Tuesdays. Ooh, look at this. I think we oh, really it could be me. I'll turn it off. There. All fixed? Awesome. Yeah. All fixed. <laughs> I had it apparently going in the background. I wanted to watch myself. No more of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, this week we are answering the chat. I see there are some folks in the chat. We got uh, Jisoo, Janae's with us, Ray's with us, Dylan's with us, Sebastian's with us, Corey yes. uh, is in the chat, lots of folks. And um, we're talking our top five picks for this year so far. Uh, we're about halfway through. It's not even Techtober yet. It's like Techtember, right? We have <laughs> There's so many, many devices. Yeah. Uh, so many device launches <laughs> already this year. And we've got... Um, Probably a few more announcements. I can't say too much. But what uh, what are our top five gadgets? So this could be phones. This could be accessories. I've got an accessory in mind. Um, and I see lots and lots of folks joining Hi, in. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, there's more people coming in. Hi from Las Vegas. So, Susanna, let me go ahead and throw this up. We're going to see Susanna's top five of 20 so 2020 so far. Let me make you the focus and I'll get out of the way. Okay. So tell us, uh, number. this is probably in no particular order. Although Look, yeah, I in know, no particular order. Um, I know just what your number one is. I, you've my, already let that cat out of the bag. My, so, top, my top phones, devices, gadgets, yeah. all of the above. But... Um, these number also five. change. Go. They also change. Okay, number five is gonna be okay. this bad boy right here. Ah, oh, the razor. The razor with five G. Okay, 5G, cool. Yes. Does and, I love I love flip phones. I never thought I would say that. I love flip phones. <laughs> is it flip phones or is it folding phones? <laughs> folding devices. Let me say folding, folding devices. devices. Ah, oh, look at this. Yes, folding devices. They just feel so great in hand, and they fit everywhere. Yeah. Fit so okay. just to think back off of that one, here's this one too. Is that number this four? Is, I would say in terms are we, of are you mixing it up here. This yeah. is amazing. I'm just throwing them all out there. Okay. Just throwing so, them all out there. In so no order. In okay, no particular order. Second top five. All right. <laughs> my second. But this is probably my favorite device. I would just ah, say. Okay. Okay. Um, but the Samsung Z Flip 5G. Nice, nice. Oh, that's awesome got a personalized phone. wallpaper. I feel like you're carrying that device around as your. I am. I am. And you know what? People love it. Everybody gives me great compliments about how. You know what? Funny. What a funny thing is. Um, people tell me that it looks like a little makeup palette, which oh, definitely. Okay. You okay. Can definitely see it. Cool. But so cute. Nice. And then. Hang on. Um, I, hang on. I see a couple questions coming couple through. Couple questions. Uh, well, Josh, Josh, our buddy Josh says foldables are the future. He loves his Z Fold 2. Yes. That's, that's got to be a 5G Z Fold 2, I'm sure. Uh, I just saw another one. Someone said they're going with the flip. Uh, here it is, Michael. I'm going with flip. I'm that old. <laughs> oh, he's uh, talking about the other flip phone. <laughs> oh, maybe the old, old, like the original Razor. But we're gonna yeah. we should say that for Throwback Thursday, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And What's your third uh, of five? Third, things? I would say my third in the middle right now is the Moga controller. Really? Yes, I like uh, it. You're, you're a gamer now. Um, well. What I am an Xbox person. <laughs> yes. Okay. And what are you playing right now? So my favorite game right now is Rocket League. <laughs> I know. I love Rocket I League. Know. And free to play. Free to play. I, I have. Uh, yeah. It's fun. I love it. I love it. It's super fun. And you know what? I'm not so great. I'm not going to say I'm the best person out there, but it's, just, it's a good pastime for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I would say, so wait a minute, wait, wait, show, will you show us that again, real quick? So yes, I, of course. I want everybody to see. So this is this is not just an Xbox controller. This is the Moga controller. You can actually see this uh, in T-Mobile stores being demoed. Yeah. There it is. 
it's made for the um, Xbox streaming solution. Samsung's got a partnership with them. And you can see right up on top there, that, that little jaws, so to speak, that is an adjustable holder there. Susanna will demonstrate right now. Very nice, very nice. And that looks, that looks like that might be your next, one of your yeah, next. Yeah, lean nice. into, <laughs> lean into. <laughs> okay. So that's the Xbox controller. And so now we're on to choice number uh, four for Susanna, which is? The uh, Samsung S20 Fan Edition. Fan Edition. So I am a huge fan of cool colors on devices. Yeah. And I would say this is probably one of my favorite colors that I've seen that T-Mobile has carried. Yep. You know, yep. okay. closer. And, then, and it just really yeah. has, has everything you want in a phone at an affordable price. Yeah. What Six else? Nine bucks. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, great. Now we got one more now here. I see a few more. Uh, questions or comments i got a v60 thank you from joseph lamb Ooh, awesome choice uh they want us to get here scott berg has been get the z fold 2 back in stock. <laughs> we are working on it we are working on it if i could put it back in stock i would but we got to work with samsung on that but it's all happening let's see Jisoo said she loves that color. Nice. Yes. Oh, and, and they pointed out it works underwater. Yes, and, it does. <laughs> and people Murphy says, and it works underwater. I think you've watched our unboxing video. If you guys haven't, be sure to click subscribe to T-Mobile's channel and go watch our Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G underwater unboxing. And over on T-Mobile Latino, Susanna's. Yes. Above water, water. <laughs> yes. All right. So what is your number one device? Or my number or one device is my watch. <laughs> so this is the Galaxy Watch Three, and to go that way with it a little bit. There you go. There we go. You right. can't really see it, but it's perfect. Hard. Perfect. Yes. I am all about um, having my notifications on my hand and literally just being like phone free most of the time, most of the day actually, which works great. I I feel like it keeps me informed. I love seeing how many steps I take, even though I don't take that many as I should ever since we've been working from home, but <laughs> I'm going to get back on it. I'm get going to get back on it. You'll have to walk all day long. <laughs> that is for I know. sure. I need a puppy. <laughs> uh, uh, well, he's asleep over there behind me. He is not uh, happy to be stuck in here with me right now because I'm just. Oh. <laughs> okay, so lots of questions. I see, I saw William Dorsey say, release the LG wing. Ooh, I saw, that one is Cool. I saw Luis say LG wing question mark. So I'm going to become the big guy on the camera. <laughs> Hello. And I'm going to go over. I love this. I love doing these fun little banners. Dez's top five so far. Whoa. So, I'm going to, I'm going to, I have the demo cam here. The wait real quick. We're going to do a little teaser image with demo cam. We'll just put them up for two seconds. Look, there's demo cam. So there's a quick kind of preview. Ooh, yours are all nice. My life is a big black rectangle, but maybe not so much. So let's jump back to right here. And we'll start with the honorable mention. I don't know if this is technically part of 2020 so far, but I love it. And there it is. It's too bright because I'm in a kind of a darker room. We'll come back here. You know what? I'll uh -huh. just turn the brightness down. There we go. And LG wing. I got a little reflection from outside. Yes. But People the were asking about it. <laughs> the wing is on my list. So there it is. Check that out. And so cool. I think this, especially in this color. So that's it's re it's People kind are of excited for it. They're excited. Oh, that's such a pretty it's pearl wow. like yeah. blue green. Um, it's got all this kind of rainbow thing going on in the background. This is a cool color phone. So in that sea of big black rectangles, uh, my thing this year, especially in my top five, and this is, we'll call this the 5A honorable mention <laughs> is the wing because it isn't out yet, but it's been announced. So it, it should yes. count, right? It still counts for 2020. Okay. So I love this. I have no idea why I like this phone. I just like it and it's, comfortable in the hand 
it, we're still in testing, so lots of things can improve. Love this phone. Love, love, love this phone. Okay. Number four. Ooh. Um, ah, this. Okay. So this for me, number four, my Pixel Buds. Ooh. And I have found, especially at home, especially with other people in the house, on um, their Zoom calls or like we're on WebEx and all that kind of stuff. Having a great set of wireless earbuds is fantastic. I love the features that come with these. I, I'm an Android guy primarily. Um, I have my iPhones right there. Uh, but this is the way to go. And yes, with my Mac computer, I am using my AirPod Pros. They're right there. But I love these for everything else, for when I go for walks. Um, just fantastic. Great sound. Really comfortable in the air. Much needed right now. I feel like everybody needs a pair of wireless headphones. <laughs> everybody. And Pixel Buds are, I'm saying, thumbs up for Pixel Buds. Maybe. Maybe they'll connect with something fun in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Now, that was number five and number four. Um, one thing I want to bring out. Uh, here we go. We've got two things. I'm, I'm, I'm mixed on my emotions about these. So I also chose the fan edition with a little homage to, yeah. our, uh, to <laughs> our underwater unboxing there. Unboxing. Uh, <laughs> and some underwater surfing. And this is actually the device, let me go find you guys a picture or two, that we had in the pool with us. So yeah, legit, show us behind the scenes. Legit, there is the camera crew that I made get in the water. Now those oh, are that's so funny. my team member. <laughs> and then here is the, the single takes. So you can actually see, there's the single take from this phone captured. And you know, you can tap in and watch the, the various videos. And, we might, oh, can you hear that? Yes. So all happening in real time. <laughs> it's so neat. <laughs> and so these guys, I said, hey, can you guys, you know, go be a camera crew? And you've got, of course, the camera lady using the lavender. Uh, you have that lavender one right now. I that's do, I do. That's with you right now, uh, fan edition. Then you've got the production assistant drinking his coffee with this clipboard saying it's time to go. The director with his megaphone and a sound guy all underwater. Love the fan edition. Love just like you. Uh, great screen. Amazing cameras. I've shot a few different videos with this so far, um, and I love the price. And 5G. Uh, uh, low band and mid band spectrum. So I've seen about 280 mega, megabits per second download on that guy. That's pretty good. Higher. Um, so that's my like number three um <laughs> my number two are you are, wait real quick real quick are these in order from your I most so. favorite I okay okay so number two Ooh, oh. had a lot of comments about that mm -hmm. one <laughs> did he, did he hold? and i see people asking questions about water uh i'll, I'll get back to jojo in just a minute um, yes people love, love it people. Uh, i love all the updates that have happened with this device. I love the changes they've made. I love the fact that it works great on our network. Um, and I just, I think foldables are awesome. I love Surface Duo. I haven't even played with the Surface Duo yet, but I love the hardware. I understand software needs a few tweaks, but this is where we're going. I can imagine my nine-year-old kiddo out in the other room is gonna walk into school one day, do this, and just that's gonna be how book and <laughs> school- the new normal, future. yeah. So Z Fold 2 5G is my number two. And then, of course, number one, he's right here. I'm just trying to navigate through. There you go. Ooh. My note, my note. And it's connected in with a slot. It was connected, and I think I dropped it off. That's why it's got a little tape over the speaker. Make sure we don't get any background noise. Um, daily driver for me right now. It goes between note and fan edition. The note yeah. with the S Pen gives me a few little extra editing things. The other day, my wife sent me a to-do list, uh, and it was like a screenshotted image sent to me from her iPhone. Went in with uh -huh. my S Pen, did copy, select, find text. Boom, I put my to-do list actually into Google Keep. It I makes everything easy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> cool thing. Uh, and it was fantastic. I'm going to split us back together. So that is... Real quick, Chris asks hmm. why there's no watches in our top five. I think Chris and the said, I had my watch in my top five. Yeah. The and Galaxy watch. Right here. Um, 
I haven't had a chance to play with the new Apple Watch yet, so I don't know if I love it or not. I, yeah. I wear my Galaxy Watch everywhere, except for the only problem is I run the battery out. I um I don't have my little charging dongle. I have oh. a I have a a dual Samsung charger that does phones and watches or buds at the same time. Uh, but it requires a little more skill to put it on straight. And sometimes I don't, <laughs> I just don't get it done. Uh, and so then I pick it up the next morning and I haven't really charged my watch. That's user error on my side, not yeah. due to the, de to the device at all. So uh, Jojo asked earlier, I'm gonna scroll back up cause I just wanna get to it. I don't know if my phone is waterproof. So none of the phones we have shown you, um, and I actually skipped one, and I have to I have to go add my one more device because um, I can't count apparently. Uh, <laughs> uh, none of the phones we showed you are waterproof, water resistant. So like your razor has nano coating inside that helps it be more water resistant than just no coating at all. Yeah. but it doesn't have an IP rating, at least not that I can remember off the top of my head. My, you saw my note sheet. It was like mind boggling long <laughs> with notes. Um, the Samsungs are IP68, which means up to a meter and a half for up to yeah. 30 minutes and that's fresh water. So those pools, no, wouldn't, it's not really supposed to work after the pool. Mine is still working, but it's not supposed to. Like it could be the, the chlorine in the water could be corrosive. Same with salt water. Things like that. Um, and I so, wanted to have a question earlier from Bridget, who mm. said, who asked, um, she wants a Samsung watch, but would it work with an LG phone? Yep, no problem at all. Yes. So uh, the Samsung watch, you just download the um, Wear application and that helps sync them. My son actually is using an older Galaxy watch on his LG V60, thank you. He's a dual screen folder guy uh, mm -hmm. and he loves it. So that uh, that works absolutely. So Augusto says you can take it to a swimming pool or beach or take a shower. I think he's talking about watches. Watches, yes. Um, the watches also have uh, IP68 rating. I would need to double check. It's at uh, least IP68. Water uh, resistance for sure. I'm not sure about the rating, but yes. Yeah. Uh, and then let's see, I got another one. Uh, uh, what's the 35 uh, watching YouTube videos? Awesome. So I see <laughs> that, uh, 5G, uh, just looking. No, da -da 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 Faster, 5G, 4G, LT. So a lot of people have asked about uh, speed tests. And that is one of the things that we will absolutely be working on in the coming weeks. Uh, we're doing some network work. Right. Wow, that sounded funny. Some network stuff. Uh, and we're <laughs> working with our network PR team. And we will be answering your questions about speed tests, not just here in Seattle, because of course, I can go into the to the, the building or in the neighborhood here and get wicked fast speeds. But we want to show you what speeds are really like in right. suburbs, in small towns, uh, in all those places in between. So we will share that with you guys. Let's see, anything else? I get thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, my secret, my secret uh, fifth item was works great on the T-Mobile 5G network. Uh, not sold by T-Mobile specifically. Uh, we sell the one plus eight. My one plus eight Pro. Love this phone. I play games on it every single night. Uh, and I almost can't play games on anything else. I'm super spoiled with that one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, is there a new Samsung phone coming out to for T-Mobile? I think probably Fan Edition. Yeah, Fan Edition on Friday. Uh, will there be Black Friday deals? Stay tuned. I bet there will. Uh, <laughs> out of all top five, how is Battery King? Uh, probably Battery Life might be best on Fan Edition because it's got that big battery and a reasonable size screen. Right. Uh, that's just a guess. There's no no logic behind it. <laughs> And like, take the best for last, Team One Plus. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. Well. Sinue, of course, we know Sinue uses a One Plus device, and I love mine. I absolutely love it. And who knows? Maybe we'll see some more coming out in the future. Now, that's it for our top fives. Uh, I think that's a good place to kind of to wrap up. You know, if you guys have any more questions or want any more info on any of the devices or gadgets that we talked about today, check us out at tmobile.com. And of course, 
Thanks always for watching Tech Tuesdays. Anything else, Susanna, you want to add? I haven't well, um, seen your comments. Let us know what you guys want to see next week. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm scanning the comments one more time. The chat was busy today. Yeah, a lot of questions. Uh, Matthew Jones <laughs> loves his Rebel 5G, but maybe thinks he should have gotten the Velvet. What are my thoughts? Two very different devices. Rebel's a great entry-level 5G device. Velvet is closer to a flagship, higher performance. Uh, I would say a lot better camera uh, and beautiful screen. So just, just different, but there's also a fairly large price difference between those two guys. I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I'm thinking $399 for our Revel 5G. Does that sound right? That ring it's, a bell? Yeah, it's if similar. We, it's, it's in the range. Sure. It's, yeah. With <laughs> incentives and BOGOs and all the various things going on, it, it's a little different. But let's say $399 versus like a 580, so almost $600 phone. So a couple hundred dollars difference, but you can see what those differences are in like the screen resolution, the camera quality, things like that for sure. Uh, both good choices, just different use cases. Yeah. Uh, looks good. And Tech Odyssey says, hey, howdy, howdy. I think I'm joining the Tech Odyssey guys. Tomorrow, <laughs> Dan and Tech Odyssey anyway. Sync up drive for 5G, stay tuned. Luis says, thank you, Google phone, Augusto. You know, there's an announcement tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for that one. Maybe there'll be a new top five of 2020 after- we'll have to revisit our top five. <laughs> a, few, a few weeks, should we say? There's still, there's all of October going on. There's, you know, neither one of us mentioned an iPhone, which is hilarious because all I'm doing is shooting on this sucker all the time. <laughs> this is my go-to video device. So yeah, I'm excited to see what know. comes out from Apple. You yeah. Never know. You never know. I think it's a perfect place to wrap up. Sound good? <laughs> all right. Yes. That, we've done all our hints and our stay tunes. Okay, guys, this is Des for T Mobile and Susanna. Susanna. <laughs> thank you so much. Take care, Thanks, you guys. Everyone. Bye, guys. Subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and of course, leave comments on the video after we end it here, and we'll get back to you. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.